A Northwest Side congregation is being tested by fire. Damage done to St. Monica's Catholic Church may be worse than first thought. Now, they do plan to rebuild, but in the short term, Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyck tells us church leaders are focused on getting their children back in school and parishioners back in the pews. Rich? Although the original damage estimates appear to be low, the response from the congregation and other churches has been overwhelming. Church leaders are still assessing the damage. That initial $400,000 estimate, probably only a guesstimate. I suspect it's going to be higher than that. Perhaps much higher, concedes Father Todd Goodson. Wednesday's fire heavily damaged, if not destroyed, the church narthex. The sanctuary, church offices, and elementary school all suffered smoke or water damage. An initial appeal for help raised nearly $10,000 overnight. Offers of help from other churches, some of them of different faiths, Goodson says have been overwhelming. My message box is full is of unanswered texts and emails of support. So it's really been uh, the response of compassion and care for us has been tremendous. Ronan Laughlin is among the hundreds of children growing up at St. Monica. Pictures the sixth grader took, he says, make him sad. Sad about that part of the church burning down. Um, but I'm glad to get a few days off of school. More than 400 children missed two days of school. Friday, all of them will attend classes at the Children's Museum. The church has insurance. It probably won't cover everything. Most of the repair and cleanup needs to be done by professionals, but church leaders want parishioners to do some of the rebuilding themselves. St. Monica's International Congregation speaks a couple of languages, mostly English and Spanish. Anything that can draw us together more and see ourselves as sort of one body in Christ, as we say in the Catholic Church, united by the Eucharist, that's what I want more than anything. Teachers have been in and out of the school building most of the day preparing for tomorrow's school at the Indianapolis Children's Museum. They took air samples inside there today. If those samples show the air is safe, students will be back in their classrooms Monday morning. Un until the sanctuary is ready for parishioners again, they will be celebrating Mass in the gymnasium. All right, thank you. Rich Van Wyck reporting from the Northwest Side.